Welcome back, everybody, for our deep dive today. Always fun. Into the Cyberdope ecosystem. Yeah. Have you ever uh, yeah. wished you could, like, step inside a gritty sci-fi world? Mm -hmm. Well, Cyberdope isn't just a story. It's a whole universe. Oh, yeah. Built around this right. pandemic-ravaged future. Exactly. Where people escape into virtual reality. Mm -hmm. So we're talking a novel. We're talking NFT contests, a social network. Wow. And we'll even crack open issue one of the comic series. Right. Yeah. So this is a big one. Oh, what makes Cyberdope so unique is how it blends that storytelling right. with real world engagement. You're not just passively consuming. Mm. You have the opportunity to participate and even influence the narrative. That's right. It really makes you think about how storytelling can evolve, you know, yeah. in this digital age. Totally. So to set the stage, the Cyberdope saga novel drops us into this oh. dystopian near future. All right. Think global pandemic, underground bunkers, oh, wow. and a virtual world called Outrider. Okay. Where people seek refuge. Interesting. Yeah. The interesting twist is that Outrider exists both within the novel. Oh, wow. And as a real functioning social network. Really? So this blurring of lines between fiction and reality is one of the things that makes Cyberdope so compelling. Yeah, it's a clever way to draw you deeper into the story. Absolutely. The novel follows everyday heroes battling the pandemic, unraveling the mysteries of Outrider, and fighting for survival. Right. So like classic dystopian themes, yeah. but with a high-tech edge. Speaking of high tech, let's talk about the Cyberdope NFTs. Okay. These aren't just digital collectibles. They're integrated into the ecosystem mm -hmm. and grant access to special content and opportunities within the Outrider network. Okay. So I understand NFTs is digital art, but how does that work with a story? Mm -hmm. Like what kind of special content are we talking about? Think of it like this. Owning an episode NFT is like having a key. Okay. that unlocks a secret room in a constantly expanding mansion. Mm -hmm. As the story unfolds, mm -hmm. your NFT evolves, granting access to new rooms, revealing hidden lore, maybe even giving you a say in how the story develops. Well, That's what they mean by living utility. So it's like your NFT is growing and changing alongside the story. Exactly. That's a pretty wild concept. Yeah. It's very cool. And I see here we have information on a few different NFT collections. Yes. They've released several collections with more planned. Okay. There are the Wombat 66 NFTs, mm -hmm. which are free to collect. Okay. And are based on a virus in the story. I notice that these Wombat 66 NFTs seem to play on the whole pandemic anxiety we've all been experiencing. Mm. Do you think there's a deeper commentary there? Definitely there's an element of satire. Okay. Poking fun at our fears, but also highlighting how easily misinformation and panic can spread. Right. Especially in a digitally connected world. Makes sense. Yeah. Then there are the episode NFTs. Yes. Which are designed to unlock those unique experiences within Outrider. It seems like owning one of these could really enhance your connection to the story. Absolutely. By owning an episode NFT, you're not just a spectator. Mm -hmm. You become a participant in the world of Cyberdope. Okay. You gain access to exclusive content, can potentially influence plot points, and even gain advantages within the Outrider social network. Well, let's back up a second. Sure. We've mentioned this Outrider social network a few times. Can we unpack that a bit? Of course. What exactly is it? Imagine a themed social media site designed specifically for Cyberdope fans. Okay. You can connect with other fans, discuss the story, and even join factions based on groups from the novel. I read that they have this AI host character called Cybot. Yes. With a robot cowboy persona that sounds... Uh, I know. It's pretty out there. Interesting. It's those little touches of humor and personality that make Outrider feel like more than just another social platform. Right. They've really captured the tone and vibe of the Cyberdope universe. And I see they also have the Dope Store. Yes. Where fans can buy merchandise. So you've got the novel NFTs, this interactive social network, and even apparel and collectibles. Right. It's like they've created this whole ecosystem they have. for fans to immerse themselves in. It's a smart strategy by providing multiple entry points and ways to engage. Yeah. Cyberdope creates a sense of community and encourages fans to invest in the world they've built. So you've got the big picture, a dystopian future, a mysterious virtual world, and a community of fans eager to dive in. Exactly. But how does this world actually play out on the page? Yeah, good question. Let's take a look at issue hashtag one of the Cyberdope Saga comic series. In Medius Rex. Okay. Sounds good to me. Issue hashtag one promises to be an adrenaline-fueled ride. 
Okay. From the marketing alone, we know we'll encounter cutting edge tech like shock manacles and even murder birds. And then there's that cryptic tagline, the 10 second ogre pancake recipe. What? I have no idea what to make of that. Yeah. But it definitely cheeks my curiosity. For sure. Let's explore the key players and events introduced in this first issue. Keeping in mind that we want to avoid spoilers for our listeners. Yes, definitely. Sounds good. Let's just dive in and see what we can uncover without giving too much away. All right, let's do it. Issue hashtag one throws us right into the action. Introducing Herr Schnurbarts. Okay. The main antagonist who controls Nomen Spire, the virtual command center right. for the Outrider metaverse. And we can't forget the mysterious Rex Martell. Oh, yes. A prisoner who seems to have a connection to the ogre. Right. Attacking the spire. Ah, uh, yes, the ogre. Yeah. It's described as this colossal 13 meter tall humanoid monster. Oh, wow. Scaling Nomen Spire and wreaking havoc on security forces. The artwork really brings this scene to life. It does. You can almost feel the chaos and destruction. Yeah. As the ogre tears through the spire's defenses. Another intriguing character is La Syringe. Oh, yeah. A world class bioweapons engineer working alongside Herr Schnurbarts. Okay. Let's just say her methods of interrogation are not for the faint of heart. Yeah, she definitely gives off a mad scientist vibe. Yeah. But back to this ogre attack. Yeah. It's not just brute force that makes this creature a threat, right? Exactly. There's something deeper going on. The source code of Outrider supposedly doesn't allow for the type of damage the ogre is inflicting. Really? This raises a lot of questions about its origins and how it's able to defy the very fabric of the virtual world. See, that's one of the things that really drew me in. Yeah. It's not just a mindless monster smashing things up. Right. There's this mystery surrounding it. Yeah. This sense that it represents something more than just a physical threat. Absolutely. It definitely adds another layer to the well, story. Yeah. And then there's Rex Martel, who, despite being tortured by La Syringe, mm -hmm. maintains a defiant attitude, even managing to throw in some witty remarks. He's got this sarcastic humor. Yeah. That makes you wonder if he knows more than he's letting on. Right. Like he's playing a game with his captors. Totally. We also get glimpses of some seriously cool technology deployed against the ogre, like these murder birds, which are essentially aerial drones armed with missiles. Wow. So you've got this epic clash between brute force and advanced weaponry. Yeah. All while this mystery surrounding the ogre's abilities continues to deepen. Mm -hmm. Sounds like quite a ride. And just when you think the issue might wrap things up neatly, we're hit with a major plot twist oh, no. involving Rex Martel's fate and a sudden system reset that leaves you reeling. Okay, you're really making me want to pick up this issue right now. I know, right? But let's shift gears a bit. We've talked about the story, the characters, the world, mm -hmm. but Cyberdope isn't just content. It's also a community. That's right. Cyberdope has a very active community with numerous ways to participate. Okay. From the Outrider social network to contests with some pretty impressive prizes. Speaking of contests, I understand there's a big one going on right now. Yes. Tied to those episode one NFTs we discussed. Yes. There's a $25,000 grand prize contest currently underway. Wow. And anyone can enter for free. However, Owning an episode one NFT gives you a significant advantage, okay. granting you 1,000 additional entries for each NFT you hold. Wow, that's a huge incentive to get involved with the NFT aspect of the project. Right. So even if you're not an NFT enthusiast, the potential to win that kind of money hmm. might just pique your interest. For sure, it's certainly a clever way to attract a wider audience. Yeah. And it speaks to their commitment to rewarding the community and creating a sense of shared ownership over the Cyberdope universe. I also see they have other contests planned for the future. Oh yeah. Like the Wombat 66 contest and a dough store contest with exclusive merch up for grabs. Very cool. They're really going all in on engaging the fan base. It's a smart move by offering these opportunities for participation and rewards. Yeah. Cyberdope fosters a sense of excitement and anticipation, ensuring that fans are constantly looking forward to what's coming next. It's like they've cracked the code. They have. On building a sustainable and thriving community around a creative project. And it's not just about giveaways and contests. Right. They've created a space where fans can connect with each other, share their passion for the story, mm -hmm. and even contribute to the evolution of the Cyberdope universe. So you're saying they're actually empowering the community to help shape the direction of the project. Yes. And that's a powerful thing. Yeah. It creates a sense of investment that goes far beyond simply being a consumer. Right. Cyberdope fans have the opportunity to become co-creators, influencing the narrative and leaving their mark 
on this ever-evolving world. Now that we've explored the core elements of the CyberDope ecosystem, I'm curious to hear your overall impressions. Yeah. What stands out to you the most about this project? I think for me, it's the seamless blend of storytelling and technology. Yeah. They've managed to create a world that feels both familiar and completely alien. Right. Grounded in real world anxieties, yet pushing the boundaries of what's possible in a digital space. I agree. It's refreshing to see a project that doesn't shy away from complex themes and ideas. Yeah. Cyberdope challenges us to think about our relationship with technology. The allure of escapism. Exactly. And the potential consequences of blurring the lines between reality and virtuality. It's also impressive how they've woven the NFTs into the narrative. Yeah. It's not just a cash grab or a gimmick. Right. It's a genuine attempt to deepen the level of engagement and create a more immersive experience for fans. That's a crucial point. They've managed to leverage NFTs in a way that feels organic to the story mm -hmm. and enhances the overall experience rather than detracting from it. Totally. And let's not forget the community aspect. Yeah. The Outrider social network and the various contests they've organized have fostered a sense of camaraderie and shared ownership among fans. It's clear they understand the importance of community building and creating a space where fans can connect, yeah. collaborate, and contribute to the Cyberdope universe. Absolutely. It's fascinating how they've managed to create a project that appeals to both diehard sci-fi fans right. and those who are simply curious about the potential of NFTs and interactive storytelling. It's a testament to the power of a well-crafted narrative and a thoughtfully designed ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Cyberdope has tapped into something truly unique, yeah. something that resonates with people on multiple levels. So we've got this gripping dystopian story unfolding in the Cyberdope saga. Right. NFTs that act as keys to unlock a deeper level of engagement, mm -hmm. an active social network that mirrors the virtual world of the story, yeah. and a whole merchandise line for fans to express their connection to the universe. And then there's that cliffhanger ending in issue hashtag one. Oh yeah, we're left with so many questions about the mysterious ogre Rex Martel's fate. Right. And what Herr Schnurbarts' ultimate plan might be, it's clear that this is just the beginning of a much larger story. Cyberdope is a franchise that doesn't just tell a story. Right. It invites you to step inside and become a part of it. Yeah. Whether you're drawn to the thrilling narrative, the innovative use of technology, or the vibrant community, there's something here for everyone. So, as we conclude this deep dive, here's a final thought for you to consider. Could Cyberdope be a glimpse into our own future? Hmm. A future where the lines between reality and virtuality become increasingly blurred, where technology shapes not only how we consume stories, but how we live our lives? It's a question worth pondering. And whether you view Cyberdope as a cautionary tale or a celebration of the possibilities that lie ahead, mm -hmm. One thing is certain, it's a world that will stay with you long after you've finished exploring it. So dive in, connect with the community, and discover what awaits you in the heart of the digital frontier.